I'm just doing a quick update to my loco build. Uh, I'm on part seven now, um, and I thought I'd just show you now where I'm up to. I've got my electrics done. I've got all my my, uh, my control box fitted in my sound module and all my switches. And uh, I thought I'd just show you inside cab how I've done my wiring and, and what's involved. Um, as you can see, I've got it I've got it up and running and. And everything's working okay. So I'm just going to take uh, uh, cover off at cab at bike and, uh, and I'll look at electrics with you then. So if you just bear with me a second to you, but five minutes to me. Right, so I've, took, I've just took bonnet off to show you how tight these batteries water fit. I've had a bit of a struggle to get them both in, to be honest. Uh, I'm just trying to reach camera over so you can see. Yeah, so they were they were a bit of a squeeze, but I've managed it. And it's actually just sticking through a bit in tick cab. But all my covers cover that up okay. And then my front cover here uh, is on, on a hinge and it covers front. So, where I'm up to with my wiring, I don't know if you can see in here, but there seems to be a hell of a lot of wiring just for a little loco. But that that's what instructions said with, with to control box and module. And I'll just explain what I've fitted in here. So, here at... Here at knit battery at the back in that box that's that's the control unit that makes makes the um, makes the thing go if you like uh, and, and control speed and then in front of that here uh, I've, I've added this sound module I wasn't going to put a sound module on it but being I've saved a lot of money in just using scrap items from my workshop and any unused items, I've I've spent nothing on it bar for this this electric electrical bit. So in front of my control box, I have fitted my sound module, and that it. And then over here, I've got I've got a fuse box fitted, and then in, in fuse box, I've got a, a 25 amp foot main battery to, to cover main batteries. Uh, and then next fuse is for the horn, and then next fuse is for the light, which I'm putting on. And then underneath that, I've managed to fit two relays. If you can see where I'm pointing, this is front one. There's one at back. One relay's for horn. Other relay at back's foot. Um, oh, I forgot what that's for. Um, well, for sound unit, yeah. Uh, sorry, I had a bit of a, a blank there. Then underneath that, underneath them, I've managed to squeeze me me horn in. That that everything's been a bit of a tight squeeze, really, but I've managed to do it. And then on back at control panel here, if you can see, I've got a trip out switch which comes through front, so I can just reset it if it trips. That, that's, that's really the same thing as my 25 amp fuse, but I've belt and braced it if you like. I like that term, belt and brace. So if, if that fails, then fuse will go. And then, at side of that here, I've got my main um, on and off switch. And that's just a caravan isolator for a motor mover. I, I already had that, <clears throat> and then under that, I've got me light to tell me my me powers on, and my battery indicator. That's underneath that, telling me my voltage and my batteries. Uh, you don't really need all this on, really, but I had them in stock. 
well, I didn't have this. This was only a couple of pounds off of eBay, this this indicator. And then at the side of that, I've got my, my switch for my headlight, which lights up. And comes out at back here to all this wiring. Now, I know it looks a bit bit of a spaghetti junction in there, and, and it is really, but a lot on it's just... Well, it's just wire you've got you've got to loop round everywhere to so you can reach everywhere. I've tried to make it as tidy as I could and no doubt I could have made it tidier but you've got to leave a bit of slack on for everything wanting to move and when you put battery out this cable has to move out with it so you can't have everything tight. And then on top of the control panel I've just put some uh, some uh, connecting blocks to connect all my positives and my negatives to. Uh, and then right underneath on there is where my two main wires go out that feed my motor. And I've put some... Uh, I've, I've insulated around them so they don't uh, rub on framework with some... Uh, some of that concertina sleeving you can get that, that's got a split up it. So that's where I've insulated that with. And then coming through front, I've drilled an hole here at the bottom. If you can see where I'm pointing here. That's where my control wire comes out from my control box to handset. And then that's where you'll be sat on riding car with handset. And I explained that in my last video, I think. Uh, speed control. I'll just switch it on and show you. Speed control. On. And forward and reverse switch. Now this sound module, you can hear it now, that's that's in ticking over mode. Now this the bottom of the sound module here, if you can see where I'm pointing, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six adjustable, don't know what they call because I'm not electronically minded. There's six adjustable uh, adjustments to alter tone and volume. Uh, and various other things. I don't know what, because I've not read into it all fully. I don't think I'll be messing around with them anyway. So, uh, my next job now, really, I'll just turn this off, because it's making a noise. My next job now, oh, I have missed something. I've got two speakers for this sound module. I've put one in the roof up here. That's, that's on roof, bolted to roof. Now I had, I had to put it there because I've, I've just run out of space. And then the other one here is in front of radiator grill. Down behind batteries there. It comes th and then sounds coming through my grill here. And I've got to paint all this yet so don't, don't laugh at it. I know it looks a bit naff at the moment but I've got to paint it. And then I'm going to make a light at front with this halogen bulb. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet. That's just in, in uh, development stage. So, uh, so that's that's more or less me, me loco nearly complete. The other thing I've got to do is fit these these trims on the side, just to cover me uh, where I've loomy welded my pieces of aluminium together. I've just got to put them on the side. Uh, and uh, a couple of other little bits and bobs to bodywork. Uh, I'll show you that in my next video. So other than that, uh, I'm not far off finished. And I think I said in my last video I'm going to leave it unpainted, but uh, I'm not sure about that now. I know it's not very very good weather for painting at the moment. And if temperature rises a bit, I might I might set to unpaint it. It's no good doing it in cold weather though, because it'll just not stick. And I've got to get some etching, etching undercoat. 
etching spray, uh, acid etch as it called, yeah. Because with it being aluminium it, it'll make it make paint stick better. And I've got all paint on stock where I had for other jobs. I'm not buying any any paint, I'm just using some green spray that I've got. Uh, so that's it. Um, I'll just fit everything back together. I've got to make some catches for this front door. I ain't got. I'm holding them with some clips at the moment. I've got to just make, devise some way of closing this front up. And I've just put my bonnet back on. I didn't. I didn't show you that, but it it it, go, it goes on easy. It's just tight. A tight fit from side to side, there's plenty of room underneath but you know, as I explained in my last video I, I, I devised all my dimensions around this this bonnet that I made and I didn't want to go away from that and because I thought it was a nice shape and then other thing I'll probably do, I've got to, put, I've got to make an, a, an imitation exhaust pipe for it and I'm going to put a few trims here and there to make it just look a bit more realistic. Uh, I may put a couple on top of bonnet or I may put a couple down here on the side and pa paint them all the same colour. I, I, ain't, I ain't quite decided yet on where I'm going to put them. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's more or less coming towards a, a finish now with all bodywork. So, uh, have I missed anything off? I don't think so. I know I said I was going to shorten this step and I haven't done that yet because I'm still umming and ahhing about that because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a bit few more alterations to the front uh, and I'll explain that in my next video. So, that's where we're up to at the moment then. Anyway, uh, that's a quick update for you. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you subscribe to my channel, I think it'll notify you when I've when I do my next part to this, and probably probably next part, maybe last one. That's if I can get it sprayed. Uh, we'll have to see what weather's like for that, and if not, it, there'll be another couple of parts. So I'll see you on my next part. Thanks for watching. Bye.